What's up guys? Thanks for watching my video. I do appreciate it. I just wanted to quickly show you something that's pretty alarming. This is a 2009 Jeep Grand Cherokee Laredo edition. And I have to pull a dashboard out. I have to do an evaporator on it. So usually before I do any work, you know, for my own safety and probably the safety of the car, you know, I just disconnect the airbags. You know, it's, I don't, you don't necessarily need to pull the airbags out of the car, but I do believe this one has a, uh, a knee bolster that needs to be taken out. So I usually just pop the fuses out and drain out the capacitors and all that. So I just know because I've done this a bunch of times that usually these yellow ones with the locks are for the occupant restraint system, the uh, airbags. But now if we pop this fuse box and we look, it says spare, 10 amp, spare, 10 amp. And that's those two right there. And then it says 30, 15, 30, 20, which is right there. There's your 10 amps up here. Oh, I'm sorry. 10 amps right there. So I was real confused. So I pulled out, you know, this is the original owner's manual out of the car. And as you can see, it's in the integrated power module fuse box. And right there, in cavity 29 and cavity 30 are our airbag fuses. So I'm gonna go over here because I was so confused, I had to look it up. So here's the fuse box diagram. 29 and 30 are the two on the bottom. And then just for the heck of it, to make sure I got another one too, 29 and 30. So when we go back to the owner's manual, twenty-nine and thirty, ten amp red, ten amp red. That's those right here. Do not pull these out of your car and use them as a spare. Please. Do not be on the side of the road. Open up your owner's manual. Or or just pop the fuse box read your spare and pull these out they're hard to pull out you know you got to unclip them they don't just pull out like a normal mini fuse but uh that's a big problem someone has to do something about that i believe it's on i did a little research i believe it's on a jeep commander has the same fuse boxes and it states the same exact thing you know i don't know what happened if this is just a misprint and no one ever checked it and they just made a million of them and then just used them. I don't know, but something needs to be done about this. I'm gonna put this out as a public service announcement to newer Jeep owners. This is again a 2009. Weird stuff, guys. Weird stuff. Thanks for watching.